Bosky Productions Lawbreakers is a shooter that plays with gravity and mobility to great effect. The game also marks the return of superstar developer Cliff Blazinski, who already has quite the legacy in the genre with classics such as Unreal Tournament and Gears of War under his belt. I had a chance to spend some time with the new game at PAX East. What I learned from the demo made me optimistic for the game's future. Lawbreakers, as you might expect, is a gritty title that doesn't shy away from the violence, blood, or swear words. But it also has a bit of levity to it, especially in the different personalities of its characters. I played a match type called Overcharge, a fun variant of the more classic Capture the Flag mode that tasks you with capturing a battery and taking it back to your base to charge. Once the battery is charged, your team must defend it for 20 seconds until it overcharges to earn a point. The mode, which was a 5 versus 5 on a map called Grandview, was a fast-paced mix of attacking and defending, which really allowed the zero grav abilities to shine. Grappling blades and jetpacks made for quick getaways or hunting down your prey. Firefights can also get a bit hectic when your opponents are swinging and flying all over the map. Luckily, you have the ability to reverse blind fire, a clever little trick you can unleash on your enemies when making an escape with the battery or swinging from one spot to the other. Grandview itself was very conducive to the action. It allowed for tons of zero-g shenanigans, thanks to the gravitational anomalies, especially in the middle of the map where the battery spawned. I was on the side of the Breakers. This universe is bad guys, which, in my opinion, have the advantage of the game's most badass character designs. I tried out each class, from the badass Titan Kronos, a tank character who uses brute strength to take out his enemies, to a slick assassin named Kitsune, to my personal favorite, an enforcer named Kentaro. Blazinski also promised a few new characters would be announced in the coming months, but he wasn't ready to divulge anything about them during our chat. Bosky will debut new content at this year's E3. Overall, my time with Lawbreakers offered some fun new ideas for the shooter genre in terms of physics and gunplay, as well as creative ways to take down my enemies, with the over-the-top weapons that won't disappoint Blazinski fans. But what I really loved was the potential to meet all of these new characters and the stories they have to tell. I can't wait to get to know them better. Lawbreakers will launch its alpha test sometime in 2016.